Right now, a fleet of NASA spacecraft are turning their attention to an unusual object speeding through our solar system. Tonight is the night. Hours from now, a glowing emerald visitor will sweep past Mars, the mysterious interstellar object known as 3 War slash Atlas. For months, it has haunted astronomers, its strange light flickering in ways no ordinary comet should. Every telescope that turned toward it recorded something slightly off, something that didn't fit our rules of ice, dust, and sunlight. And now, in just a few hours, this visitor from another star will make its closest approach to the red planet. What happens tonight could rewrite what we know about comets, the solar system, and perhaps even the kind of company we keep in the galaxy. From the moment of its discovery, 3i slash Atlas defied logic. It wasn't found quietly, like most comets, gliding on a predictable path through the void. It burst onto the scene in flashes of unpredictable brightness, pulsing as though alive. Its light would rise, fall, and rise again in patterns that didn't make sense. Observatories around the world scrambled to measure the cause, expecting to find a simple explanation. Sunlight heating ice, gases escaping, the usual dance of a comet's approach. But the data refused to follow the script. The object's composition deepened the mystery. Instead of water dominating its spectrum, 3 al i slash atlas radiated carbon dioxide far more than any known comet. Its dust grains were large and sluggish, drifting more like engineered particles than chaotic debris. And its bursts of light came in clean pulses, as though something inside were controlling them. Even its color was unnatural an unyielding emerald green halo that refused to match any common cometary chemistry. Taken together, the signs pointed to something so improbable that even whispering it felt reckless, the possibility of design. And now, with Mars directly in its path, those whispers are about to be tested under the full glare of science. As 3i slash Atlas sweeps behind the sun, Earth will lose sight of it for several days. Our planet will be blind. The only unblinking eyes left to watch are robotic, the orbiters circling Mars and the rovers crawling its surface. Mars Express, MAVEN, TGO and others have been retasked to focus every sensor on the green stranger. They'll measure dust, light and charged particles, searching for clues in the comet's breath. This is not just another observation. It's a high-stakes experiment being run across two worlds. Because if this object behaves as some fear it might, our definition of natural in the cosmos may need to change forever. Astronomy, by its nature, leans toward the cautious. Surprises are supposed to fade into patterns. The unknown is expected to yield to physics once the instruments do their work. Many scientists still hold that hope. The mainstream explanation is calm and comforting. 3ii slash Atlas is an interstellar comet from a carbon-rich system. Its peculiar traits the result of volatile pockets and heavy grains formed under alien but natural conditions. Maybe its outbursts are random vents of gas. Maybe its trajectory simply coincides with our planet's plane. Those explanations are possible, but possibility is not proof, and three features refuse to be ignored. First, the path. Most interstellar objects cut through our solar system at wild angles, passing above or below the plane of the planets. Three slash Atlas, however, glides perfectly along that thin disk, as if following a corridor meant to be traveled. Its geometry looks deliberate. Second, the pulses. Instead of brightening smoothly as it nears the sun, it blinks, rising and dimming at almost rhythmic intervals. These pulses match small but measurable accelerations in its movement, as if invisible thrusters are firing in sync. Third, the composition. Observatories have reported unusually high carbon dioxide levels, traces of unexpected metals, and almost no water, a chemistry seen nowhere else. Each feature could, in theory, be explained away, but all three together form a pattern too stubborn to dismiss. Tonight, scientists will focus on three main indicators. The first is fragmentation. If the object breaks apart as it approaches the sun, the pattern of its fragments will reveal what lies inside. A delicate crumble would mean porous, fragile ice. A single explosive flare would suggest deep volatile reservoirs. 
The second is trajectory shifts. If its path changes suddenly after an outburst or flare, that could mean uneven mass loss or something more. If the motion looks guided, if the change is sharp and symmetrical, the implications will be staggering. The third is spectral anomalies. If orbiters around Mars detect radiation or energy lines that don't match any known cometary process, if the spectrum carries signatures beyond simple ice and dust, then science will have no choice but to expand its conversation. Mars is more than a spectator tonight. Its thin atmosphere, weak magnetic field, and network of orbiting instruments make it a perfect testbed. If even a small fragment of 3 Oi slash Atlas brushes the planet's upper air, it could spark auroras, magnetic waves, or faint glows detectable from orbit. The Trace Gas Orbiter and MAVEN are already listening for these disturbances. Every charged particle, every radiation spike will matter. The data will arrive late, delayed by distance, relayed through satellites, distorted by solar interference. But even a few delayed packets could hold the truth. Isotopic fingerprints, rare elements, dust compositions that reveal what this object really is. Scientists have spent weeks rehearsing for this moment, running drills, setting up contingency servers, and synchronizing backup relays. Nothing is being left to chance. Meanwhile, on Earth, a quieter army stands ready. Amateur astronomers. They are the unsung backbone of discovery. Thousands of small observatories and backyard telescopes waiting for any flicker, any deviation in brightness. Many have written custom software that will automatically upload data the instant they see a change. In forums and chat rooms, citizen scientists are linked in real time with professional teams. If something strange happens, the first clue may come not from a NASA press release, but from a message posted by an observer in Chile or Namibia. It's a global vigil. One part science, one part hope. But there's another concern quietly weighing on mission control contamination. If 3 oy slash atlas carries complex organic molecules, not just simple ices, but chains of carbon compounds or protobiological structures, fragments might fall onto Mars. Those materials could confuse future searches for native Martian life. Scientists will have to document every trace, every particle, every timestamp to distinguish what's Martian and what's interstellar. The moral questions are even harder. Who owns the data if something unprecedented appears? Should it be treated as a global discovery or a national secret? Behind the calm voice of science, there's tension, human, political, emotional. Inside control rooms, engineers are swapping shifts to stay awake through the night. Servers hum under the load. Every calibration, every line of code is checked and rechecked. Tonight, there is no routine, only focus. So what might happen? The first scenario is calm. 3 i slash atlas behaves like a peculiar but natural comet. It flares, sheds dust, and drifts away. We learn new things about chemistry and interstellar ice. That alone would be a triumph. The second scenario is rougher. The object fragments violently, creating a cloud of debris that temporarily raises meteor risk around Mars. Orbiters might take minor hits. It would be dramatic, but still within nature's limits. The third scenario, the one that truly keeps people awake, is different. The pulses continue. The path adjusts. The emissions show patterns. Signals appear where none should exist. If that happens, the word engineered will move from whisper to official report. Science won't jump to conclusions, but it won't ignore evidence either. Whatever happens, the rules remain the same. Extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence. The telescopes, spectrometers, and orbiters watching tonight are tuned to collect exactly that. Data strong enough to withstand skepticism. The James Webb Space Telescope and Hubble have already taken their final images before conjunction. Ground-based arrays will keep listening until geometry cuts them off. But the key to everything now lies with Mars, the only platform still visible. For the rest of us, emotions are complex. There's a wonder that an emerald visitor from beyond the stars has chosen our tiny neighborhood. And there's unease that for a few days, Earth will be blind to what happens next. It's easy to slip into imagination. Alien probes, secret contact, cosmic messages. But the truth, what 
whatever it is, will come from the numbers, not the noise. Still, we shouldn't downplay the weight of this knight. If 3 I slash Atlas survives its encounter and behaves unlike anything we've seen, our understanding of the universe will stretch to fit it. If it breaks apart and leaves traces across Mars's skies, we'll study those fragments for decades. Either way, the result will be history. A meeting between a wandering stranger and a waiting world. Over the next hours, the signs will begin to emerge. Amateur astronomers may notice the first brightness spikes. Radio arrays could detect faint ripples in Mars's ionosphere, signals that reveal how the comet interacts with charged particles. Later, when the delayed spectra arrive from orbiters, scientists will hunt for isotopic ratios and metallic lines that refuse to fit ordinary models. Every wavelength, every pixel will be studied and restudied. At the core of tonight's effort lies one principle. Transparency through redundancy. Multiple instruments, independent teams, open data. Science must be able to test itself, to question itself. Only that discipline keeps wonder from turning into wishful thinking. When the sun rises tomorrow, the world will wake to a new kind of morning. Maybe we'll read a calm analysis, a strange comet explained at last. Or maybe we'll face headlines that challenge everything we thought we knew. Either outcome is valuable, either outcome is a victory for curiosity. So if you're watching tonight, look up. Questions, not answers. Follow the data, follow the silence, follow the light. Remember, discovery rarely announces itself with clarity. It arrives disguised as uncertainty. This night is small on the cosmic scale. One comet, one planet, a handful of machines. But its implications could echo generations. We're about to find out whether a visitor from the stars behaves like a wanderer, or like something that's been here before. Whatever happens, one truth will remain. The universe is not finished surprising us. And tonight, it has chosen to remind us just how little we really know.